Hey guys, Stavros here from RPM Auto Reviews. I'm at the Canadian Auto Show in Toronto. Okay, so let's sit inside this baby. It's got the harder with the ever so slight softness to it. Oh, sorry, up here. A little more softer here, but definitely more softer here. Harder down here. It's got one, two speakers. This little swooping design as it comes around here, I don't... I mean, cars, a lot of cars have this thing that gets a little larger here, but... The way this kind of really comes up and out, I'm kind of a little not sure about that. So we have here the usual power adjustment and it looks like it's got a four-way for the lumbar. I don't think I see anything for the uh, thigh extender. Well, the power's off on that so I can't put it in my position. Uh, it is a soft touch, nice feeling leather. Very bucket design. Alrighty, so. Okay, so we got a little nice kind of design here. I don't mind this uh, design, it's in many vehicles. So here we got a deep, deep spot. We got a couple of USBs, 12 volts, with an SD card, cup holders on the smaller side, parking brake. We got eco mode, snow mode, and what looks to be a racing flag mode. Stability control off here and the engine auto start stop button is right there so you can turn it off right away. It's got this uh, ob mm, it's kind of like electronic thing. I guess you just sense your finger and you touch where or you can turn it or to whatever you want. That's kind of I haven't seen this one before. That's interesting. I kind of don't like it. I'm a traditional guy with the, with the I like my shifter, but um, it's got a little bit of a rubberized cubby spot there. And I don't see a symbol for the uh, uh, wireless charging. We got a nice knob here for volume button. A lot of hard touch buttons for the climate control. I like that. You guys know I like that. It actually has a CD player. Yay! I love it. Thumbs up. Got a not high but very wide infotainment screen. Um, the, probably more of some of the stereo features are probably in there because I don't see them here. But of course, they'll, a lot of the stereo features are always here as well for finding your media and playing. And climate, uh, I should say, um, cruise control and other features on this side, hideous steering wheel on this side. This one does have the paddle shifters. We just have the lane keep assist option down here and the, the trunk release. The, in here looks like it has a one big long digital display as well. As opposed to having any analog, it's all digital screen. Uh, here we got a little bit of a soft kind of rubbery feel as well, the stitching, that looks kind of nice. Kind of a plasticky something here. It's got an uh, average size glove box. It's got that uh, like faux suede in here that the Genesis and my Kia Stinger has. It's got an average size sunroof. It has adjustable headrests, head restraints. Uh, you know, it's, it definitely gives you that luxury feeling, that's for sure. Not a big fan of this here coming out here, you know, because it kind of comes up instead of being either, you know, straight across, straight across or down. So I kind of don't like how this comes up. I find this here, I mean, it allows for more room this way, for more hip room, but this could have been a little bit more wider because when if I put my arm like this, I mean, hey, I like driving like this sometimes, as many people do. You put your arm there and then my elbow wants to kind of fall off there, it doesn't reach it very much. A little wider armrest on the side door there would, uh, would have been nice. We got hard over here. So again, this is a Jaguar. I like to think it'd be a little bit more soft touch of luxury feeling there. Don't get me wrong, it's nice. It was comfortable seating and everything. I think the layout is kind of, the whole thing is just kind of safe. You know, it's not a very uh, too modern kind of design. It's 
a little older school, but it's safe. Looks kind of nice. Now, same with this here. This kind of comes up, you know, instead of coming down. It kind of feels like it makes the window a little bit too, too small here. The door does open almost 90 degrees, so that's nice for getting in and out and putting a child seat. Now, this seat was further back than where I was sitting. I'm five foot six. That was probably far enough for somebody that's six foot two would sit. And uh, I have uh, just a few inches there, so that's not bad. We got soft touch here, harder here with the netting. We got some foot room there, that's okay. <clears throat> Actually, let me do my hand test. My whole hand can go over my head uh, without forcing it, so there's good, good headroom in short. It does have a power trunk lid, and it's got a good size storage here I'm gonna say that's approximately 16 cubic feet from experience it has a smaller spare tire under here bright orange kind of funky I guess not much room for any hidden stuff which I prefer to always have some hidden storage for emergency items like oil and blanket emergency kit whatever 12 volt back here and there's some buttons here that might be for releasing the back seats, I think. It does have a button to close it. So to sum up on the um, on this Jaguar, it's a nice car. I think it definitely has luxury appointments and stuff, but I've got to say that I think they need to uh, step up their game. Um, Jaguar is um, touted as a luxury vehicle, so I think some of the interior features really need to be a little bit um, upgraded for any new models next year. Add a little bit more soft touch refinements to it here and there. The seating was soft and comfortable, but definitely um, could be more, a little bit more plush, I think. Um, you know what, that said, I think when it comes to the comfort seating, every manufacturer should go sit inside a Nissan Murano with the leather seating that it has on the upper trim levels. Take it for a drive, sit in that, and then go back to the drawing board and design your comfy seats for your luxury vehicles. Back to this, uh, I'm going to post some of these specs regarding the 3 liter engine and its power and fuel economy. and. Um, Anybody who owns one, please uh, give me some feedback on what it's like driving it. I haven't driven one yet. I don't know how long it'll be before I can get into one. But overall, I mean, it's a cool vehicle. I just think they could step it up a little bit and make it a little bit more refined.